one, two, three. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. Okay, we have had a very, very nasty and dangerous supercell move through inland parts of the southeast coast this afternoon. It has impacted areas from Harrisville through Willowbank, Rosewood, and of course, Fernvale. Now, my silly radar decides it's going to update right halfway through the video so we will scroll back to the moment so I can show you something on there okay so significant damage has been reported out of Fernvale and, and other areas of reported damage up through Debra um, Wamuran as this dangerous supercell tracked to the north and then turn northeast what you can see here on the radar is a hook echo that indicates a meso which is sitting here rotating or a supercell rotating ahead of the and wraps the rain and hail curtains around in a clockwise manner right that's how we identify these storms as being dangerous and carrying large hail and heavy rain and obviously destructive winds this storm was just 30 kilometers from brisbane cbd Okay, while we did blanket warn the entire southeast coast region, a southeast change came up and it, it stabilised the area along the coast. We thought that may have happened, but we just didn't know the exact timing of that. If that change had have been further south, that cell could have easily turned and went straight over the top of Brisbane or, or more highly populated areas. Doesn't matter, that's a good thing. However, our thoughts tonight are uh, with people who have sustained significant damage from the trail of this supercell tonight. Now I need to go on to tomorrow and show you something that's not going to concern the southeast coast but definitely inland Queensland. Inland Queensland, southern inland Queensland tomorrow poses a significant supercell and severe storm threat. There is also a chance of tornadoes tomorrow. Yes, we get tornadoes in Australia. Yes, they are documented. There was one today from New South Wales. Okay, so what happens tomorrow? There is a surface low spinning up here, centred over, say, Charleville and Mitchell. The southeast change that came through the coast stabilises the area over here, which you can see is not in a thunderstorm threat. It's cool. It's moist. It's coming out of the southeast. However, out here, that southeast change is interacting with the surface low and it's generating a very potent thunderstorm environment with very strong low level winds coming in from the north and they turn and wrap with height back to the back to the west all right so we do expect large hail damaging winds heavy rain frequent lightning and dangerous thunderstorms for the western half of the darling downs southern parts of coal fields you know whatever they're called I don't know, I've typed so much and I've done that many updates today, it's not funny. And obviously eastern parts of the, the Warrigal and Maranoa. You are under the pump. This is dangerous stuff, all right? Um, we won't be surprised if there are reported tornadoes from here, but given the the sparse population, you just never know. But there's, there's definitely a threat. Um, and then obviously you've got you've got the supercell potential threat, which, which can have winds anywhere from, from 90 to 100 to 125 or higher kilometres an hour. If they go above 125 k's an hour, they're destructive. And that's what we saw down here at Fernvale. Destructive winds, blue roofs off, big trees over, cars, power lines down, people displaced, people could have been killed. All right. We did send significant number of push notifications via the HSC app today, both open, widespread, and geo-targeted. I went ballistic on that because we just want people to be forewarned and forearmed when these things are coming. All right, so this is for tomorrow. Big storm potential in land. We could get some blow-off rain into southeast coast from the tops of the thunderstorms as some of the steering winds carry that those thunderstorms towards the east but not as not as a core thunderstorm as rain off the top of them but definitely watch out out here i can't emphasize it enough i've been out here in a situation like this chase one night and saw an ef2 tornado drop down at surat in the lightning i couldn't capture it 
I spoke to Bomb about that tonight and they agree that there is a chance for tornadoes tomorrow out here. Don't forget to head over to the Higgins Storm Chasing website, okay, and become a Higgins Storm Chasing member for 12 months. And then you can gain access to our members area, which contains all of our detailed graphic maps and forecasts, plus much more. For 25 bucks a year, it's a bargain. And we've had very, very good reports from that. We have videos and we have thunderstorm forecast maps. Um, we cover Australia-wide, New South Wales, Queensland. Look at that. There we go. That's for tomorrow. Yeah, wow. Extreme risk, possible tornadoes, supercell stroll, inland parts. Look at that. All right, guys, that's enough. There are still currently thunderstorms active through southern Queensland. They are very lightning active through here, through the Darling Downs. There are fairly strong thunderstorms through northern New South Wales as well inland around Moree, Inverell, maybe getting up to Gundy. There's also a few few thunderstorms through through central parts. This is not the end. The thunderstorms continue whilst they'll be inland, but we do expect by the weekend that these thunderstorms will shift into drought-stricken western Queensland, and we will be very excited to produce the forecast for that should they hold, which is looking good. Stay safe, stay safe, everyone, and we'll continue to update HSC Facebook app and website.